Well, have you noticed your allergies acting up over the past several days? It's probably because of the pollen. And with the season change just around the corner, it doesn't look like the pollen will start to settle down until we start to really move into the fall season. But over the next couple of days, it's going to be brutal at a 9 out of 12 in the upstate by your Friday, an 8 out of 12 in the Midlands and PD by Saturday, and then we eventually make it up to an 8 by your Sunday down in the low country. So I'll keep you updated on the pollen levels over the next several weeks, but now from pollen season to hurricane season, it's been a very slow start to our hurricane season, but with the peak of hurricane season only two to three weeks away, we're really going to start to see some things start to ramp up out there in the Atlantic. Our first area that we are watching is just off the coast of Africa. Only a 20% chance of developing over the next five days, but it is moving out into open Atlantic waters, so we have to keep a close eye on what it does. And we also have another one just ahead of that, just to the east of the Lesser Antilles. It is going to move across the Lesser Antilles and just to the south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. It also has a 20% chance of developing over the next five days. And like I said, peak of hurricane season only two to three weeks away but our Atlantic is also slowly but surely starting to become more favorable for tropical development. So I'll continue to keep you updated on the pollen and on hurricane season over the next several weeks. Now switching over to our weather, it's going to be the typical isolated to scattered thunderstorms throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than average in the low to mid 80s. Now that's going to continue into your Friday, but as we head towards Friday night lights around 7 or 730, we do start to see our rain chances slowly start to decrease, but we are keeping them at 40 by kickoff. Our temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s and low 80s. And as we head towards halftime in the third quarter, those rain chances really start to drop to a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain and our temperatures are down to the mid 70s. So keep some rain gear handy just in case you head out there on Friday night. But it does look like the majority of the games will be in without a delay. Now for your weekend, same thing, isolated to scattered thunderstorms, but we also have our dry spots and you see this in the upstate. Our temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer in the mid to upper 80s. Now don't forget to head off to Ridgeway to the Sarah and Geo's concert on Saturday. We do have a 40% chance of a couple of showers by 6 and by concert start time at 7, but it does look like those rain chances will rapidly start to decline. Hopefully it will decline a little bit earlier by the start of the concert, but I am keeping a 40% chance of rain before they start. We're dropping it almost to nothing, but I am keeping a 20% chance. After that, our temperatures drop from 83 at 6 down to 75 by 9 o'clock. Now, if you are heading out to church the following morning, it does look like we are going to see some drier weather. Our temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 70s as we're heading out to church, but it doesn't look like the rain will move in until around the 11 or 1 o'clock hour, but the bulk of the rain won't be until later in Sunday afternoon as we're heading home from church. It does look like those temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 80s. So like I said, those rain chances really aren't going to start to ramp up until your Sunday afternoon. Only a 30% chance in the upstate, but 40% chance everywhere else. Heading throughout next week, we keep a 30 to 40% chance of rain and storms. And then by next Saturday, South Carolina and Coastal Carolina play at home. We do have to dodge a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms for now, but that's still 10 days away, so I will keep you updated in the long run. Keep it here at Will's Weather for all the latest information.